Welcome back. The annual Kamloops Time Razor taking place this Friday night. We have the organizer, September Kiromi, joining us on the show. Welcome back. Hi there. Hi. This is a great event. It's all about not raising money for the exchange of artwork. It's about raising time, time yeah. that will go to volunteer organizations. I That's love right. it. Yeah, so we purchase artwork. So the, the artwork is actually purchased with money so the artists are very happy with that mm. none of the artwork was donated and when you come to the event you bid on it with volunteer hours who purchases all the artwork um, I do with a committee I have like a little uh, selection committee of an artist or two and then uh, spon sponsor companies can sort of nominate an employee or themselves to come help me out That's awesome. so yeah they come out and we go through most of it comes from the Kamloops Arts Council's Art Expo show in February it's a really great show with like almost 100 artists, I think, and that's where most of this artwork comes from. So the art is purchased. There's 19 pieces, I believe, 19 up for pieces bid. this year, yeah. yeah. And really so, great artwork. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. I think we've got two of them here on the screen, so we can get a, maybe a close-up of these, but there's 19 pieces, and people are encouraged to come down and bid on them on Friday night. Yeah, so this one's by Judy McKenzie. It's called Aspens, and we bought this one at the Art Expo show. And this other one, the it's called Free Floating, the Hot mm -hmm. Air Balloon, and it's by Trish House. And I actually purchased that one at the Art Battle. Have you heard of the Art Battles that The happened? Art Battle? Yeah. No, where is that? Uh, Four Cats, the guys at Four Cats have right. started this Art Battle thing where okay. uh, artists come and they paint a painting in 20 minutes and there's n six of them around and they're competing and then the audience picks the favorite and they go on to the next round and the next round. So That's it's like awesome. this sort of competitive painting yeah high energy situation and it's really fun and I purchased that one at the art battle. 20 minutes? Yeah. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> okay, so we have pictures as well from I believe last year's event. So where was it held last year? Last year it was at the Rex. I'm not sure if these pictures are from the Rex, but it is at the Rex again this mm -hmm. year and it is beautiful inside. Yeah, They've done I a fantastic that. job renovating it. It doesn't look anything like the nightclub. It has a little bit of class now, the Rex does. Totally. He's done a really, really nice job in there. It still has the shape of the old CJs, so you can certainly walk in there and have a little bit of a flashback <laughs> as you're walking in, but the troughs are gone from the bathroom, oh, and good, it's like maple good. floors, and really great sound system, so it's, it's really lovely in there, and mm -hmm. it's definitely a reason a lot of people are coming just to see what it's like inside, and that's a good reason to come. Absolutely. How many people came out for last year? It's about 150, but I think this year... My online ticket sales are much faster than they were in previous awesome. years, so I have a feeling it might be quite busy this year, but that's good. So, what are some of the organizations where people can nominate, what do you call it, bid on time for? Right, so there's, when you bid on time, you bid, let's say you bid 80 hours on a piece, so you have a year to do 80 hours of volunteering. And in the room that night, there's 20 different agencies, so some of your hours have to be done with an agency in the room. So there's uh, Kamloops Triathlon is there, Junior Achievement is there, Canadian Cancer Society, uh, Kamloops Therapeutic Riding. So there's 20 different agencies, broad spectrum. I try and hit like every hobby, you know, skill, whatever it is, so that everyone can find something that, that they love. Mm -hmm. And so you have to do some of your hours with the agencies in the room. And, but you have, this is a great way to sort of, some people call it speed dating. It's a really great way to find what works for you with your schedule or what sure. you like to do or your skills and yeah. So tell me this, what's the highest you've seen something go for? How many, what's the top amount of hours you've seen bid? Well we do max it out at 100 hours. Okay. Yeah, because if you've never volunteered before and you get in the typical silent auction mentality and, and bid 300 hours, then you, it's not a very good chance that you're going to sure. succeed and we want people to succeed. We want them to love volunteering and we want them to take their artwork home. So we do max it at 100 hours. Awesome. There's just no losing uh, scenario to this. It's a win-win-win all the way around. Absolutely. I think that's what makes it so great. Uh, again, this is taking place on Friday night at the Rex and the Rex is like the overhaul beautiful version of the old nightclub <laughs> that used to be their Cactus Jack. So definitely go and check that part out but come and uh, make a difference. CamloopsTimeRaiser.ca. What time does it get started? It starts at 7. Mm -hmm. And it goes till about 9, 30, 10, 11. Okay. The longer you stay, the more fun you have. There you go. <laughs> All right, September, lovely to have you back. Thanks very much. Quick break. We'll be back with more Midday in two minutes. Stay with us.